simple question. What color is Christ? He's black. He's black. Now, if I ask that sister right there across the street, what color is Christ, what you think she would tell me? <laughs> she might say white. She might say white, or she there's a... Or, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, or they say he has no color. He has no color. Now, what man ever walked the earth with no color? That makes no sense. Those are simple things in Christ that anybody should be able to answer. But Christianity teaches that he had no color or that it don't matter. Or they'll say nobody saw him. So how they nail him to the cross then? These things make no sense. Come on. Verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus. Teach a what? Preacheth another Jesus. Didn't Christ say that in Matthew 24? Many shall come in my name and deceive many. Christianity is in the whole world. Everybody is worshiping this man. It's the number one religion in the world, next to Islam. But yet Christ ain't came back yet. Why? Because read it from the top. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel, wheresoever what? This gospel. This what? This gospel. This gospel. Why? Because there are going to be many that come in his name teaching another Christ. Teaching another gospel that the apostles did not taught. Read on. Shall be preached. Also, this that this woman hath done be told for a memorial of her. You know what I want? So watch this. Give me 2 Corinthians 11 and 3. Let me show you something. Because remember, he said, This gospel shall be preached in the whole world. Then shall he come, right? Watch this. The book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 11 and verse 3. But I fear. That's by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve. Just like the serpent beguiled Eve, so he's talking, up, he's bringing up history from Adam and Eve in the garden, right? He says, I fear, lest as the serpent beguiled Eve, or tricked Eve, or deceived Eve, right? Come on. Through his subtlety, so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. Read that part again. Through his subtlety. Through his subtlety. His subtlety. It's not Christianity, a subtle religion don't they speak so much their speech and eloquent words a lot of times don't that sound very familiar watch this come on so your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ from the sim that your minds be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ let me show you a simple thing I'm gonna ask you a simple question what color is Christ he's black, he's black. He's black. now if I ask that sister right there across the street what color is Christ? What you think she would tell me? <laughs> she might say white. She might say white, or, or there's a or it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, or they say he has no color. He has no color. Now, what man ever walked the earth with no color? That makes no sense. Those are simple things in Christ that anybody should be able to answer. But Christianity teaches that he had no color, or that it don't matter, or they'll say nobody saw him. So how they nail him to the cross then? These things make no sense. Come on. Verse 4, for if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, teach a what? Preacheth another Jesus. Didn't Christ say that in Matthew 24? Many shall come in my name and deceive many. So Paul is prophesying about a time where our people are going to learn another Jesus. This right here is another Jesus. Come on. Whom we have not preached. Paul, the apostles, they didn't preach this. They did not preach this. They preached salvation to the Jews, the Israelites, those that you see on that sign. Come on. Or have ye received another spirit? Another what? Another spirit. <laughs> Your blessing. <laughs> That's another spirit. Where in the Bible did you see the apostles do anything like that? They never did that. Right. Or a lot of people in the Christian church, they become a little bit more effeminate. Oh, sister, love, come here. We're all in grace. Let me hug you. The apostles was bold in their teaching. They were and they taught with authority. It's a different spirit that comes with it. Come on. Which ye have not received. Or another gospel. Or another what? Another gospel. There are many gospels out there. Or many Christs out there. Or many Christians. Catholicism. Pentecostal. Episcopalian, Methodist, Baptist, 
Those are many Christs, many doctrines, many gospels that have deceived many. Come on. Which ye have not accepted. Because they did not teach that. Come on. Ye might well bear with him. Now we have to bear with you and try to show you and reason with you through the scriptures. Give me Matthew 24 and 14 first. And then we're going to wrap up, all right? Yeah. Read that. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. Notice it keeps saying this gospel, this gospel, this gospel. Because there's one particular gospel that has to be taught throughout the whole world. But there'll be many gospels out there, so we need to figure out which gospel is it. Come on. For a witness unto all nations. And then, because all of our people were scattered throughout all nations. How? Through the transatlantic slave trade. That's right. That's why it has to be taught throughout all nations. Because that's what God's people are. Come on. For a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Then shall Christ come. This gospel must be taught. Acts chapter 2 verse 42. Acts chapter 2 verse 42. And what is that gospel? That the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, you are the Israelites according to the Bible. You are God's chosen people, and you have lost your heritage, your nationality, your culture, and your identity due to breaking God's commandments. But God is stretching out his hand right now for your repentance. Come back to the Lord and serve him with fear and joyfulness and gladness. No longer be stiff-necked. Stop being hard-headed. Honor my Sabbath day from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Women put on modest apparel. Brothers, marry your wives. Take care of your children. Guide the house. Take care of the widow. Be a father to the fatherless. Judge righteously. These are the things that are going to fix the black community. That's right. Which is truly the Israelite community. Come on. Acts chapter 2 verse 42. And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine. In the what? In the apostles' doctrine. In the apostles' doctrine. Why? Because the apostles' doctrine was the doctrine that Christ taught them. So it is, that is the this gospel that shall be preached throughout all the world. Then shall the end come. These Christian pastors are not teaching out of this Bible. They devise for hire and money out of their own heart. They teach what the white man taught us in slavery. This is a slave doctrine. We are still slaves today. Mentally destroyed, physically destroyed. We know nothing, but God is calling us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.